family? How you guys doing today? I am here with Milky Tech and today we're doing a requested video. We are turning a slow laptop into a fast laptop using this, an NVMe drive. Let's get this done. Guys, make sure to stay to the end for a grand announcement where... Well, you'll find out at the end. Stay tuned. So guys, before you guys pick up an NVMe drive and try to toss it in your laptop, you gotta make sure a few things. You gotta make sure your laptop actually supports an NVMe drive. And just because it might have an NVMe slot or a slot that looks like an NVMe slot, doesn't mean that it actually supports NVMe. It could be just a regular SATA slot. In that case, don't pick up an NVMe drive, pick up a SATA based SSD. Now to find out if your laptop supports it, best place to go is to the product page. And it should say right there if it supports the NVMe drive or look in your manual. Most modern day laptops should support NVMe drives should now another thing you need to take uh, into account is the warranty on your laptop some manufacturers if you open the laptop up you will void the warranty so if that's important to you you have to keep that into consideration personally i fix my own stuff so i rarely send anything out to manufacturers so i avoid the warranties <laughs> I know you guys requested this video to be done on the HP laptop. I currently do not have that laptop since it's back with its owners. However, my brother's laptop here supports an NVMe drive and it's using a small two and a half inch mechanical drive. This laptop luckily supports an NVMe drive, which will be perfect where we'll have our OS and all our major applications installed on this guy, which is upside down. And we're going to use the main mechanical drive as just a storage drive. And the steps will be fairly similar, where you take the back panel out, which will be back here. You remove that, locate the NVMe slot, and pop it in. Now, to pick your NVMe drive, you want to take into consideration a few things. Price, performance, and quality. Right now, we want something that will give you a decent performance for your price. I chose this inland one because it's checks the boxes i'll have this link in the description below there are other drives where i personally would prefer to have like the samsung 970 series i'll have those also linked in the bottom there are faster drives with more input and output with more read and write speeds and just better quality drive but this does the job and i've had this and other builds and they're running perfectly fine. And for my brother who only is going to use this for school and web browsing, well, this is all you really need. Now to install this, look online on like my fix-it for a teardown guide. However, I will show you how to tear down this Lenovo uh, laptop to install this. Okay guys, so first step is you want to flip the laptop over and remove all the screws. Some laptops will have like an access port built into the back, which makes it a lot easier to upgrade the laptop. I'm I'm using this cobalt electronic tool set to work on this laptop. I'll have this also linked below. And what's nice about cobalt? Lifetime warranty. So first you want to do, you want to remove all these screws. This laptop is a little bit special. It still has a DVD drive. So the first thing you want to do is take off that DVD drive. And it just should slide right out. There we go. Next thing you want to do, you want to take a plastic pry bar like this one here. You're going to open up the laptop a little bit. All right, and you just want to force this in, pop out all the clips. You can do it with a screwdriver, but that will really damage everything. So you, I really recommend one of these to pop out all the clips out. So guys, if you guys are going to be upgrading to, let's say, one of these SATA base uh, SSDs, you just have to replace this. But in order to clone the drive, you will need one of these SATA to USB adapters, and I have it linked below. But we're doing an NVMe drive, so we really don't need this. The first step is to locate the M.2 slot, which is right over here. The way you know that it's an M.2 slot is that you have the screw over here, and that's the slot it is. So basically, it will look something like this. that will fit like that and pop down. Next step, we will open and unbox this NVMe drive. You will need some scissors, kitchen shears, whatever you can get your hands on. Voila, this is the NVMe drive. All right, now we're gonna install it. Put this in like that, clicks in, and then we screw it on. This doesn't have a screw, this is interesting. Normally they come with screws. This guy decided not to come with a screw. So, we go to our trusty toolbox, 
Now that we have it installed, let's boot up the laptop before we cover everything up to make sure that the BIOS recognizes the drive. All right, so let's uh, turn on the laptop. Spam the F12 button so we boot up into the BIOS. Now that we're in the BIOS, we wanna check that the hard disk two is the PCIe SSD, and that's what it is. Perfect. Now we'll put the computer back together and boot into Windows and clone the drive. it all back together let's slide the dvd drive back in and let's just screw this guy back together so the software that i opted to use was markham reflect it is an easy to use software that is free now if you use another manufacturer let's let's say like samsung they have their own tool which can only be used for samsung devices so i'd suggest you go to their uh website and download that because it is a better software to use than mark however if you're using a more budget friendly drive that does not come with a cloning software i suggest using markham it gets the job done. I ended up doing a clean install of Windows. Um, apparently my brother had some kind of a malware virus that caused the system to become extremely slow and eventually it corrupted the Windows. So I had to do a complete clean install. So our first test was just a basic boot time where I started a stopwatch when I hit the power button and ended it right at the login screen. As we can see for the mechanical drive, it booted up in a little over 20 and a half seconds. However, the NVMe was a lot faster where the boot time was a little over nine seconds. That is a huge difference. Now the next test that we did was Crystal Mark and we are getting faster than advertised speeds for the NVMe drive at a little over 3400 megabytes per second reads and writes a little over 1200. The manufacturer rated speeds at 2900 megabytes per second read and 950 megabytes per second write. We are getting a lot more than that this is a fast drive you're getting a lot of bang for your buck out of this drive boy that was a difference an ssd and an nvme drive makes a huge difference in your boot time and your app load times now for that little announcement we have reached over 200 subscribers and for reaching 200 subscribers i want to do a giveaway to thank you guys for supporting me what i want to give away is one of these nvme drives so that your laptop or desktop can be blazing fast as well. In order to enter the giveaway, I would like you guys to subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Instagram, and tag four of your friends. Doing so, they will enter you into this drawing, and in about two weeks, I will announce the winners on my Instagram account. All the links will be below. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified the next time I release a video. If you guys have a comment or a suggestion, put it in the comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.